Hi everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks and I'm going to share my wheelbarrow pin cushion. It's made with Rene Bouquet's beautiful board 4D garden party wheelbarrow do-it-yourself chipboard kit. Such a cute wheelbarrow. You can do so many things with it. This is one of Renee's tiny treasures, sweet pea, soft green glitter glass butterflies, and Renee Bouquet's sweet vintage button holder. I glued on a button right here. I've put some pink paper behind here. I've edged the inside with natural cotton Clooney lace 003 right here and just behind that I've also edged it with Rene Bouquet's daisy chain lace and I made a rosette in back here with Rene's Delicate Beauty Guy Pure Lace and in the center is Rene Bouquet's three layer flower applique and underneath everything on top of the pin cushion is simply beautiful French embroidered lace. Here's a bobbin and scissors charm from Rene Bouquet's sewing trinket pack and uh, I tied it with a ribbon and some buttons I glued in there too and then I made up some stick pins because they're pretty and put them in the top it is a pin cushion after all I have a process video up next that shows you how to make one and I will leave links in the description to Renee Bouquet's stores so you could find the wheelbarrow and the other items I used. I hope you like it and thank you so much for watching. Putting the wheelbarrow together isn't hard. Renee also has instructions of how to do it. She has a video in the store in the description when you buy the wheelbarrow. I decide I want to use glue and make it a permanent build mostly because I figure I'm going to be putting a lot of pressure on it when I try to squish the pincushion pillow into it so I decided just to squirt some glue into the slots and that should hold it fine This is a piece of white cotton fabric cut 3 inches by 9 inches 
I'm going to fold it in half and just do a running stitch about one quarter inch away from the edge and I'm going to leave a hole to put the stuffing in. Turning it right side out. Packing it tight with stuffing. Sew up the hole. I know this isn't going to show, so I don't care how it looks. I just want it closed up. going to create a template. I have a piece of scrap computer paper and it's just cut a little bit bigger than the wheelbarrow. I'm putting it down so the straight edge is up against the bottom and then I'm going to run my fingernail along the corner so that I can make these fold in like this. So I get the right angles. Now I'm going to draw a line at the top and now I can cut out my template. Sewing a running stitch to make a rosette. and finishing it off by sewing the two raw edges together.
I'm going to sew this rosette in because I don't want any glue to inhibit the pins going in and out of the cushion. Well done.